humans don't create an image of God to use to manipulate God and to get God to do what they want. God creates his own image. He creates an image of himself, as we saw in chapter 1, right? Humanity, male and female, is made in the image of God. God makes his own image, breathes life into it, right? To represent himself in his creation. So it's basically idolatry turned on its head, right? It's idolatry exactly inverted. So this is part of, using this language is part of that image of God language. That, that the human being is a physical right, and, and spiritual image of God in the world. And that then, right, instead of us trying to get God to do what we want, being the image of God in the world gives humans certain responsibilities in imaging, as we said, in that kind of active way, like a verb, being God's image, right, by patterning our way of life and our way of being in the world after him.